Now, operon is basically a group of genes that work together. When you think about it, your body can't randomly pull out genes to create your nose. It's got to be laid down in a certain order. You've got to have the background, the structures, the basement, build on top of that, build outside that, add features to it. And so it makes sense that genes are organised in such a way that they can work together. Now what we take a short piece of DNA. There we go, some DNA. Right down the end, I guess we'll call it DNA, right down the end we've got our structural genes. These are the genes that are actually going to build our structure. Hence they're structural genes. Problem is, sometimes we don't need a structure built. We need to regulate its control. So often, just before this, you have an area called an operator gene. In order to make the product of the structural genes, we put DNA polymerase, or in this case we're not making DNA, RNA polymerase 3 on the strand, and it works. It's way along, building the messenger RNA so we can go and make the product of the structural genes. But what we sometimes get is a repressor molecule attached here. If that molecule is attached here, then our RNA polymerase moves its way along. The DNA gets to here, can't go beyond that, preventing us building the product of the structural gene. So basically we've got something we can stick on the DNA that stops it being expressed. So way up the DNA somewhere else, way up here, you have a regulated gene that creates this molecule. And then we will attach it to the DNA or not when we need to so we can control when we express genes. For example, when do you need digestive enzymes? All the time or when you eat food? So you will often only make them either on need or have a small stockpile. That way we're not wasting energy continually producing stuff we don't need.